Hey, welcome to, or welcome back to, Auntie's Cakery. If you like gold, this is the wedding cake for you. Starting with some homemade marshmallow fondant, my favorite fondant to use. I roll it out nice and thin. This piece is going to be covering the cake board. Slap it on there, flip it upside down, and with my pizza cutter, I will cut off the excess fondant. Now it's time to put the ribbon on. With my hot glue gun, I put a little dot right there. Then I stick the ribbon right on that hot glue. Oh, it is hot. Then I will use a plain old glue stick. It is sticky enough to make that ribbon stick to the tape I have on there. But I put an extra dab of glue here and there just in case. Wrap it all the way around the cake, and then I use some hot glue to fold over that ribbon. That makes it look very professional. A little glue to stick it down. Now that the cake board is done, I am going to do the 10 inch cake. Again, I have rolled out somewhat thin, not as thin as the cake base. Drape it over this foam cake. Yes, it is a fake cake. Smooth the top out and make sure we get all those wrinkles out. Then with a fondant smoother, I smooth out the rest of the cake. Now I'm going to start to make the gold beads. Have you ever seen this mold before? It was done by Marvelous Molds and I tell you what, it is my favorite bead mold ever since I got them. I smash it in and then I pinch it up. Cut it off with my little cake spatula. And then I'll usually stick it in the freezer before I pop it out. Oh, here they come. Such a perfect string of beads. Next, I have some gold luster dust mixed with some alcohol. I believe I used lemon extract on this cake. It smells good and it works really well. I love this color too. It's the Rolcom gold color. I'm going to paint every one of those beads. Then I'll use a little piping gel to act as the glue. Stick that string of gold beads right down there. Oh, you can see I made a mess. But don't worry, a little water and I clean it right up. As you know, I don't mind showing my mistakes. I think that we all learn from successes and failures. Plus, if you get gold on your cake, now you know how to clean it up. I'll just finish putting these beads all the way around the base. squeeze one more in there. Again, using a light brown fondant, I'm going to work on the six inch tier. I've rolled it out to a nice thickness. Again, draped it over that foam dummy cake. Smooth it out. Get those edges and make sure they're stuck really well so the fondant doesn't rip. And sometimes the bottom of the fondant is so heavy it just pulls down and you get little rips at the top. And I shake the edges a little bit there to make it stretch so I can get all those wrinkles down. After I've got it all stuck to the cake, I'll use the fondant smoother to smooth it out. Again, use my mini pizza cutter to cut off the extra. And smooth it out. I'm going to color this one gold also. Using a sponge brush, I'm just painting that on. I am going to do two or three coats of this luster dust so you won't be able to see those lines in the end. This is just the first coat. Oh, so satisfying to watch that go around. 
Next, I'm going to take some gold sprinkles, stick it in a little cup, and I'm adding super gloss. This will help the Rokum gold stick to it really well and not make a mess like the other beads did. Oh, this is a long and tedious process, but it must be done. Every bead is separated so they don't touch. And why am I making these beads? For the quilt design and the bottom tier, but we'll get to that later. Use my quill design just to make the impression, and I'll do that all the way around the cake. Next, I'll take my bench scraper and really define those lines, starting at the bottom and working my way to the top, and slightly going over the edge to make a slight decoration on the top as well. I get so many requests for the quilted design. It's simple and yet so elegant. Really adds some character to the wedding cake. Once I get it that direction, I will go the other direction as well. Really dig that in deep so the diamonds kind of puff up like little pillows. Again, with a piping gel, I love using piping gel as glue. I stick it right in the crosses between those quilts. Then I will place those golden beads. And press them in pretty hard. I do not want them to fall out during shipping because I am going to ship this cake out. Did you know I have an Etsy shop where I sell my fake cakes? If you're in the market for a wedding cake and don't want to pay for a real one that could cost hundreds or thousands, hit me up. I can see if I can make one for you. I'll put those beads on every cross all around the cake. Oops, there goes one. It happens. The last one! I'm going to add a few more beads to the bottom tier. And when I say a few, I mean a lot. But I'm going to start with a few. So I'll do one, and then two, and then one, and then two. Then I'll add one more bead on top of the two to make it three. It's a cute little beaded design. You see that little spot on the fondant? I'm gonna place a bead right on top of it. The tricky, tricky. Sometimes when you watch YouTube videos, you don't see the little tips and tricks about covering up mistakes, but it happens. Sometimes we use flowers to do it too. I'm gonna to put lots of these large beads around. Then I'm going to fill in with some slightly smaller beads. After I've got those smaller beads on, I'll go even smaller. So well, now I've got three sizes. I'm going to add two more sizes to this. There's the teeny ones. And I'll fill in the gaps with little tiny ones. Those little ones that I made in the cups. This took a long, long time. 
I know there has to be an easier way to do this than one by one. I'm pretty sure Marvelous Molds has a mold like this too. I'll have to check that out. So since I've got all those beads hanging down, time to stack the cake. I put the eight inch tier on top of the 10 inch tier with a little bit of super glue. Remember this is a fake cake. No one is going to be eating it. And I'm sticking a bamboo skewer down in the cake just to make sure this does not come apart during shipping or from the box onto a cake stand. I'll line the base of the 8 inch tier with some gold beads also. Oh, they are falling apart. I think I just let them sit and dry too long, but I'm making it work. Sometimes I have to squeeze off a little bit of the ends so they stick better together. Also lining the six inch. Look how gold and beautiful this is. I've got the Midas touch. Thank you so much for watching me decorate this. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again. Bye.